I played the Demon Slayer mod in Minecraft and it was absolutely insane. I mean just look at this guy right here. If that doesn't make you feel all tingly in your toes, I don't know what will. So without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get right into it. When I spawned in on my brand new Minecraft world, I saw a village right in front of me which was super lucky and I also found the shipwreck. After searching like a third of the village, I got bored and went out into the desert and I found a Yurichi Type 0 which I thought was Kokushibo but I have a pea brain so. I got nothing from this desert temple so I moved on and found the stone Hishira in a village. What is he doing? And Rengoku? Pretty much right after, Rengoku killed a demon right in front of me and I got the assist for it, so I became a demon slayer? No way. Holding a base Nishirin sword will turn it into one of the breathing styles, so I did that and then tested it out. Well that's sick. I got the coordinates for Mount Sagiri for my Kasugi Crow and killed my first demon. I killed the demon. I killed the demon. By myself, I just killed the demon. I went all the way back to my spawn village to see if there was anything more there and found the butterfly mansion just up the mountain. Oh, it's Inosuke and Tanjiro. The butterfly mansion had absolutely nothing in it at all. It was really stupid. So I went straight to Mount Sagiri. It'd be cool to live here, wouldn't it? I climbed the mountain and saw a few familiar faces, including the muscle mice, which I didn't think would be in the mod, but I'm really happy they are. What is it? Who are you? You're a rat. After getting slapped in the face by Sabito for absolutely no reason, I stayed on the mountain and upgraded my rank. Oh, Makanato, yay! <laughs> I went down to the base of the mountain where I built my house, which I'm actually pretty proud of. I'm not great at building at all, so this was not bad for me. You're supposed to be able to find Muzan blood underground, but I couldn't find any, so I just didn't mind the rest of the playthrough. After ranking up again, I got jump scared by Akaza, who then duped it out with Rengoku. Rengoku, that's all you, Brody. Sorry, Rengoku. Attacking him was definitely not the smart move, so I decided to watch from a safe distance of about two feet. I, just, I take so much damage, I can't even get in there. Look at this fight. What the? Oh yeah, Akaza won. I was pretty traumatized with what happened to the Donut Hashira, but this ball guy didn't care. Oh, I killed him. I then tried out water breathing and mist breathing. Uh. With my new vape breathing, Yurichi Type 0 was fair game. It's a much closer fight now. I got him! I was winning like every fight, so with that crazy confidence, I fought Hokuro, whom is apparently one of the lower moons. Oh, I got him! <gasps> that guy seemed super weak for a lower moon, especially lower moon 2. But anyways, I got Hashira. Whoa. I'm a Hashira. I then immediately got my Demon Slayer mark, but I completely forgot about it the rest of the playthrough. I got a Demon Slayer mark? Why is Enmu attacking me out of nowhere? God, what a weirdo. Transparent world? Who's making this stuff? Oh, 
I can't even see. Oh, it's the... It's you. I spent the next, like, five hours looking for Mount Yoko. This was the most annoying thing ever, but I'm very glad I found it. The reason I went to Mount Yoko was to get Scarlet Iron Sand and Scarlet Iron Ore. These allow you to craft Nichiren Swords and trade to get better Nichiren Swords from the Swordsmith Village, guys. This is all the regular stuff, okay. I have no clue how I didn't notice Kokushibo standing right in front of me here. Oh. Oh, holy... What the... What is Kokushibo doing here? I can't even hurt him. Eh, but who cares about that? It's time to get some new swords. Here. Take it. Ooh. Nishiran Sword Tomioka. Okay, so I can just get rid of my old water breathing, and this is just better. But let's get the rest of them. Oh. Cool. Basically, I want the rest of them. Himajima? Who's we? Oh, this is my favorite. I love sound breathing so much. I got Tanjiro. Okay, that's really good. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's pretty cool. After killing the hand demon, because F that guy, I finally became a demon. Just gonna drink a ton of it. I beat like a few lower moons. Well, enough. I did I wasn't able to beat a upper moon. I honestly thought I'd be strong enough to take on like most of the Hashiras by now, but I just wasn't. I then came across a really cool fight between Kaigaku and Muichiro. I gotta help my demon brother out. Dude, I'm taking, I can't even see what's going on. Oh, I just one punched that thing. Um. Oh my god. This is the one I wanted. Can I get you sword? Oh yeah, Muishiro dogged on me too. This guy's so strong. Killing Genya made me the lower rank 6 demon. Oh, this is Genya. Oh, I'm lower rank 6 now. I'm stuck on something. What, what am I stuck on? This fight between Gyutaro, Daki, and Rengoku was super sick. Win, you guys got this. Beat Rengoku. Who else is fighting here? Who is that? Who is that? I'm scared, I don't know who that is. I'm upper rank six apparently. I then got one of the best weapons in the entire mod from Gyutaro's dead body. No, just his legs. Six, but two attacks. Oof. Let's try it out. Oh! 
I ended up dragging a lot of the upper rank demons and Hashiras into the water because it made it so they couldn't just run around and teleport so I couldn't see him. Also, Zenitsu was surprisingly tough. This guy was insane. Where'd he go? Is he dead? That's such a cool ability. Dude. Okay. Uh, the Demon Slayer. Okay. Not Zenitsu. I'm kind of sad I didn't fight Tengen fairly because he's one of my favorite Hishiras and he's really cool. Oh my god. Like, look what he's doing. I'm going to drown him. Okay, I got him. If you're confused as to why I have so many hearts now, you can actually drink Muzan blood after you've become fully like upgraded as a demon. You can drink it and it'll give you two hearts for like five Muzan blood. Okay, I got him. After that, I came across Upper Moon 4 fighting the Love Shira, and I slaughtered everyone. Dude. I'm just helping whoever's gonna lose or win. Shira's dead. Now it's your turn. And you're dead. The Wind Hashira was super fun to fight, and I also got upper rank one out of it. I got him! I'm up at rank 1. Instead of leading him into the water, I led Tom Cruise into a cave because he couldn't move around. I got you. I'm gonna kill you, Doma. Oh, I got him. I did the same thing with Akusa, who, by the way, is my favorite character in Demon Slayer. He's so fucking cool. Okay. Ooh, got him. Oh, I got 50. I got so much from that. Now this is what I've been wanting. Didn't do anything. I saved the strongest characters for last, so here you go. Here's the stone, Ishira. I need to fight you too. This fight's gonna be close. And I got him. Sucks to suck. I had a problem with my hits not registering on Kokushibo, but after dying once, I was able to get him.
I don't think I was hitting him before. Oh, he's dead. Whoa. Now to get Sun Breathing, which is the strongest breathing in the game, I had to kill Nezuko for her blood demon art, I had to get the Whistle from Kokushiba, which I got, Muzan Blood, and a regular Nishirin Sword, and put them in a crafting table. For some reason that wasn't working, so I just got rid of the materials, spawned the sword in, and also I couldn't find Muzan, so I had to get a spawn egg. It's not like I cheated him out of the fight, it's just I couldn't find him, so I had to spawn him. Where'd he go? Ow. Oh. Ow, Muzan. That hurts. There was one freaky looking dude. And now he's dead, yay. Tanjiro Demon popped up out of nowhere and I was really terrified because he's technically the strongest character in Demon Slayer besides Ruichi. So yeah, but he just never showed up, so I don't know what that was. Also I didn't realize this, but at some point I got the ability to stand in the sunlight. I don't know when that happened, but yay! So everyone knows that Yurichi is the strongest character in Demon Slayer, right? Yeah, why am I fighting him? That's that's not gonna work out like I thought it would. Yep. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep going until you're dead, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because as you can see, I'm not gonna be able to beat Yurichi, but <laughs> yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, I did too, it was a great time, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, how about a truce? No?